Keep going. I'm going to turn you around. Keep going. Our dream was that kids could come to learn physical theater, puppetry, and magic all week long in a very, very concentrated way. High five. And so we brought professionals from all over Canada to come in and teach kids their professional skills. These are people that do this for a living and they're, they've performed all over the world and they are here working with kids to help them learn how to do this skill. That was the start of it. Okay. Every kid that I've talked to is just, they're just so jazzed about the whole the whole situation. Uh, at the Big Top Festival, uh, we do uh, physical theater, which is like tightrope walking, juggling, and uh, the silks. And then uh, there's, of course, magic. And oh, let me tell the fi that final part. Sure. Papa Tree. Yes. Yes. Your puppy. Hello. Very good. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? It's really fun at camp. High five. Whoa. High five. Some kid that might be very, very shy, all of a sudden finds that they can ride a unicycle. In fact, there was a little, one a little girl came up to me. I was talking to her mom this morning, and she said, well, when she came okay. in on Monday, she took a look at the stilts, and she said, I'll never be able to do stilts. It just scared her. And I have a photograph of her on stilts, and I also have a photograph of her riding a unicycle. Three days, and she's on it. I think it definitely gives them a boost of confidence. Um, because, you know, not every kid can juggle. And so some kids that maybe don't, they don't know that they had a skill and then they found out that they can juggle or they can walk on stilts and stuff, which is, you know, it's pretty cool stuff. So when they find out they can do that, it's pretty interesting. I think it helps kids develop a self-confidence and helps kids develop skills that are outside of a lot of things that kids are not getting these days.